Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Lush Gardener. If you remember this absolutely beautiful, gorgeous Graptosedum California sunset was doing absolutely amazing in this spot. Uh, everything was working out really fine. Uh, I had also added some Graptosedum ghosty and everything was coming along very well. But today, this is the situation of my Graptosedum California sunset. If you're wondering what happened over here, that's exactly what I was thinking. Uh, it was in this spot. I took the plant out of this spot because the leaves were falling uh, drastically in the pot. And I took it out and you can see there are some leaves fallen in this as well. Uh, when I took it out from this spot, uh, there were a lot of leaves and I thought probably there is some issue with the roots. Uh, the soil was perfect. There was no issues with there was no issue with the roots. I thought probably it's because of the change in environment it's getting very hot these days but uh, graptosedums can handle a good amount of uh, heat they can even handle a good amount of sunlight even afternoon sunlight but still the leaves were falling i was quite worried i took out the entire plant i checked the roots i checked for any bugs there was nothing but the leaves had fallen uh, particularly on this one you can see this the stem is all visible even this one there is no issue with the roots or with the stem everything was very healthy uh, I was uh, in complete shock uh, one that the entire plant is destroyed secondly uh, what could have possibly gone wrong because I'm very confident about my soil there's nothing wrong with my soil and then but today I noticed a pair of pigeon is behind all of this destruction I noticed one of them sitting on the parapet when I went to hunt it off uh, I noticed that the other pigeon basically a pair the other pigeon was sitting right on the succulent and pulling out all of the leaves so I was uh, quite annoyed and devastated looking at that scene because uh, one it is so difficult to uh, manage all the succulents and then when it's doing well you have another issue so uh, probably the pair is nesting and they're looking out for either food or sticks probably it was looking out for thinking that uh, these stems are sticks so they tried to pull it out or they thought that uh, because these have really strong colors they might have probably thought it's some kind of a fruit so they were trying and pulling out each and every leaf uh, and now when i was inspecting it i did notice a clue you can see there is some pigeon poop over here uh, which means that uh, the entire thing was destroyed by the pigeons uh, they might have probably sat over here you can see this and uh, they have even damaged this portion over here probably trying to sit on it I was just thinking that why is this happening and uh, why there is so much of uh, pieces falling down probably they're trying to hold on to it uh, this is the uh, hyper tufa pot so probably they're trying to latch on to it so it's trying to scrape off all of those particles from it and uh, yep that was the main cause uh, now i can't do much about it than to just do a little bit of cutting probably i'll cut few of these stems and plant them and i'll collect all of those leaves and uh, try to propagate them uh, it's very devastating but I'm actually quite uh, relieved in one way that it was not related with uh, issue of the soil or with the climate. It was basically by the pigeons, nothing to do with the soil, watering or any kind of pest or fungus issue. Thankfully, that is ruled out. Uh, now I have to find a way to stop these pigeons to visit this place. I might go ahead and buy some more uh, mirrors in order to create that uh, reflection over here so that they don't come back again uh, and I'm gonna keep uh, this away and let's see what can be done uh, because the plant is very soon gonna get into its uh, dormant period graptosedum so we will have to see what's best can be done a lot of leaves have fallen down I'll probably cut this one and keep it aside and Thankfully, they have not damaged. Probably it was something to do with the color because uh, the Graptosedum ghosty is unharmed. Even another variety of uh, Graptopetalum is also doing quite well. Probably it was something to do with the color because the color was really, really intense and bright orange. So that might have attracted them because they haven't damaged any other succulents apart from this. 
rest of the succulents are just okay i didn't water it probably thinking it was due to over watering that's why you can see others have got dehydrated i was still uh, not very sure what exactly is going on but uh, now that i have uh, realized what the problem is i'll go ahead and water these and uh, we will keep a check so that's about it uh, i will end this video and i'm going to go and see what next can be done as i said i will also go ahead and get some more of the mirrors thank you so much for watching